What's up, Lions? What's up, Leo? Gang? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a Leo between now and the 31st of December? We closing out this year embracing love, moving forward, communicating our truths, and nurturing and finding the balance between home and finances. <laughs> Manifesting, are we? Drinking too damn much, are we? Let's talk about it. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time watching my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can resonate with you better. And I love you not, I love you still a long time, okay? Um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Leo. Between the 5th, well, I'm sorry, technically the 16th and the 31st, I'm a day or two late. Um, I don't know, my damn recording, I mean, my uploading process is slow as hell right now, so I'm recording this actually on um, the 17th, or the, no, taking this after 12th, the 18th, <laughs> until the 31st, so we rocking, all right? So again, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Um, this is a general, it may or may not resonate with everybody, take what does, leave the rest, okay? So we rocking to my uh, new subscribers. Um, Current subscribers, family, we all family. Hey, new family, look, look out, we a little dysfunctional. We cry over here every now and then. We don't fight, we don't fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love, we share, we grow, we evolve. Okay, we enlighten. We one big happy family, and we don't do no judging over here. Okay, it's about growth and evolution. So grow, so we rock it. Um, Merry Christmas to all. All right. I don't. Um, I believe I may go live on the twenty sixth because y'all, that's the channel's anniversary. Our one year anniversary, y'all. We grew fast. So you guys, I'm very excited about that. I'm taking a well needed break in January, and I really mean it. I I promise I mean it. So I'm doing all of these reading specials. So stay tuned for that. I know y'all gonna be like, "Oh, got another special?" Yes, and I'm doing it for a reason because when I say I'm a break in January. I'm going to break like y'all may or may not get mid months break. Okay, so I love y'all very much. You guys, we rocking, all right? So we're going to start with the spirit message. And for you guys, the foundation this month, okay, mid month, is definitely going to be finding that balance. Okay, finding that balance. And I feel like finding that balance to nurture yourself, all right? Nurture your children, all right? Nurture your actual endeavors that I feel like. Because I feel this energy of worry or feeling like it's not enough or something slacking or, you know, if only I can be in this place at this time and just stop beating yourself up, give yourself more recognition than what you do and just find that healthy balance. Even if it means taking a rest and sitting some things down for a while, okay? Because I feel like for some of you all who are um, business owners, I feel that especially with this youth card being here, I feel that a lot of you all during this time, there's going to be a focus on your children, all right? And I feel that that focus is either children for some of you all and love for, for others, okay? I feel that there's definitely a need of healthy balance. There is balance and order in every damn thing that you do in life that has any type of structure to it, okay? Period. Some of you all during this time, especially if you have young young men, okay, some of you all, I feel like you may be receiving some truth and clarity from your babies, and it's definitely going to trigger, um, I, would, I, I, I really want to say, and I'm going to say it, it's going to trigger some type of abandonment issue within you. Okay, especially for my single mothers uh, who have been single mothers or who've raised your babies, especially young men as single uh, single mothers. Some of you all, your babies may tell you during this time that they want to go to um, they want to go to the military or the navy. I'm hearing for some of you all, some of you baby, some of your babies are going to be going to college. All right, after this year, they're going to be graduating and moving forward. And I I feel that you wanted them to be close due to your own comfort, all right? But I feel like this change is out of your control. You got to kind of release it a little bit. I feel like some of y'all even having dreams about your baby going off and actually meeting, like, the love of their damn life and having children. Like, some of your dreams during this time are going to be very, very, very vivid. Your crown chakra is on fire, okay? Some of you all, there is love, like, a, a, an abundance of love during this time. And I feel like for some of you all, 
you really seen the abundance. At one point, you really looked at, you know, what you did not have, okay? Uh, the things that you were lacking. And some of you all are moving away from this period now, but you really need to make that balance to balance out your mental and spiritual health as well as your emotional, okay? And your damn mental health. Because for some of you all, you're holding on to things that you really need to let go. Some of you all have a, a lack mindset and you're really trying to balance things out during this time and make things flow. And and, and, and with doing so, either there's a lacking with, you know, your, your babies or your love life. All right. And for some of you all, I feel that during this time, I feel communication, baby. There's going to be communications happening and it's not for you to take it from an ego as if someone was trying to strike your ego okay because it's not that at all but these feelings are being surfaced for you to deal with them and deal with the actual root of the issue and for some of you all you have an issue with being abandoned reject you know rejected and and, and i feel like for some of you all and accepted by someone and this is why even though you have this all knowing because your third eye and your damn crown chakra is lit Okay, your dreams. Trust your dreams during this time because they're very revealing. But I feel like some of you all are having to leave someone out in the cold as well during this time. And I feel that what you having to do so is triggering something within you, which you're falling to be a slave to your loyalty. But not from a healthy place, from more so of a codependent place on not wanting to project onto someone else what you really fear the most. Even though that cycle is done, dead, squash, finito, is done, you needing to move through it. There's this sense of resistance, even though beauty and your blessing is right in front of your face. You can literally reach out and touch it. And I mean, some of you all, you've been carrying this feeling of, you know, being afraid to be vulnerable or being afraid to um, really... Love someone from a place that you don't have to control it. And for some of you all, it's ancestral. I mean, it's it's how you were raised. It's what you saw growing up. And you're learning to shift your beliefs during this time. Move away from that. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all are really, really, really healing during this time. You're just realizing, you know what, I'm not going to take this baggage in the damn new year. You know, I'm going to see the beauty in the things that I've gone through and move past them. I'm just going to take the lessons out of it and just keep it moving, you know. And then keeping it moving, I'm going to be grateful for living those experiences because they brought me great wisdom in knowing how I need to move forward and what I will and will not accept. No time is wasted time. It just gave you more, more time to figure out within self what it is you desire, what it is that fulfills you what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that really pushes your buttons, what it is that you need to work on within self. Because if we're having to move away from toxic soulmates, I can guarantee you, you attracted that person. And the things that you can see within that person, if you just truly be truthful within yourself, you're going to be, oh, shit. Now I can see the man or the woman in the mirror through this person. So I'm grateful for that experience because this person and that hurt was the catalyst to my growth. And I'm going to take off like a goddamn rocket or like a rocket because it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my time. I'm up next. Spirit is really bestowing a blessing of love and abundance in your life during this time. If only you choose to move away and let things go. Let go of that fear of being rejected or that fear of being left or that fear of being alone or that fear of not being able to control things. Okay, so angel messages that I got for you, and this comes from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay, but I got Nurture, Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child, both activities are important for you right now, okay, so for those of you who do have Archangel Connections, okay, and the next message I got is Archangel Michael. You are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and your home. For those of you who have children leaving and going off to school, and maybe you don't disagree, and maybe you're disagreeing with it, and maybe you guys are clashing, you know, because of your own inner fear, and I feel like instead of projecting it out and, and, and communicating with your babies how you feel about the moon, 
you know, or your loved ones, how you feel, or someone who you have to leave behind or situations that you have to leave behind because you want to grow in your own endeavors, how you feel, you're projecting this sense of holding it. I mean, I feel like you're, you're giving it off like real sweet, but there's a fire raging inside. There's there's a need for you to relinquish control because when you do, love, your finances, your passions, they truly, truly expand in a way that you weren't able to see them before, right before your eyes because you're not limiting one one particular expectation to a, a particular outcome or many outcomes for that matter. You're not putting a cap on your greatness. All right. So, spirit, what messages do you have for my little li 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 Leo's love during this time between now and the 31st of December? How we close out this year? Some of you all are going to be receiving or giving a very solid offer and moving forward possibly with an earth sign and I feel like you and this person or maybe you were keeping your feelings to yourself with this person even though you've been all in your damn head about it okay I feel like this person could have threatened to move away from you or possibly I feel like someone's wanting to move forward all right but a tower moment needs to happen and that tower moment definitely has to do with stern meaningful communication communication asking the right questions what the hell do you want for some of you all you could be finding out that you're actually pregnant by a virgo pisces libra um aries taurus right but i definitely feel like some of you all you're having to leave a job during this time in order to start something new or actually move on a creative endeavor. For those of you who are business owners, money looks damn good during this time. And I also see an opportunity to expand and grow. So for those of you who are waiting on a confirmation of, should I expand my business and grow and, and, and move towards, because I feel like someone's wanting to move. Some of you all may also be um, not expressing during to your family members during this time that your ass gonna move. They're just gonna call you one day and you're gonna be like, gonna be like hello? Leo, where you at? <laughs> Out of state. I'm rich, bitch. I mean, like some of y'all ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. You just, I feel like you just moving toward what it is that you want to create, and you moving forward with a passion. Some of you all, some of y'all really, whatever it is that you're trying to grow, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you really need to take that leap of faith during this time. Some of y'all may have a tall moment with an Aries. I feel like after this tall moment, it is going to allow you to be more open with this person and move you and shift this. Shift this dynamic of feeling like you're stuck, okay? Because I definitely feel like someone felt like they were stuck. And this person could also possibly tell you that the reason why they really weren't communicating and the reason why they were just sitting on their feelings in the past and, and, and not really um, compromising with you as far as creating had to do with the fact that they were just really working on their finances. Maybe they feel stuck or feel stagnant financially. But during this time, they money is their money is moving. There's There's momentum. With that Sagittarius energy in effect, there is momentum, there is movement, okay? And so because of that, for some of you all, your Ace of Cups, can you now see it flourish? Because of your endurance and your patience with it. I felt like this person walking away from you and not really communicating with you, you or this other person, though both of you have a sense of, there's a sense of like abandonment that really needs to be dealt with. And I really feel like there, that comes with healthy communications and acknowledgement first and foremost. Some of you all could also be wanting to take a, um, some of y'all could have been actually, some of y'all actually finna realize that you dodged a damn bullet during this time, especially if you was dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Some of y'all could actually want to take, some of y'all wanted to move forward and take a leap of faith with the Scorpio, but I feel like. As soon as you start putting the pressure on this person and letting them know, and I feel like this could have previously happened, but moving forward, I feel like you could have told this person what you expected and what it was that you want. And this person knows that you are their soulmate, but this person got some can't get right. And this still things from this person's past that they need to move away from. I feel like if they swept under a rug and shit's, shit's going to be falling out the closet. So uh, during this time, keep your cheat, Leo. Okay? Keep your cheat. Some of you all are not sleeping. Due to the fact that you know you're having to release something, 
that was no longer serving you and move away from it. And I feel like you're keeping your feelings real close to your chest. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, yeah, you're, there's a focus on your children during this time, you all. I really feel like for some of you all, you, there's a focus on making a decision on if you want someone new or if you want to actually reconcile with someone who you actually have children with, okay? For some of you all, especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo, I feel like there's this sense of newness with this person. You want that movement. You want to see things go forward. And I feel like this person also is ready to take that leap of faith, but this person could also be attached to a family, okay? I feel like there's yeah, honest and true communication that really needs to happen. Some of you all are really needing to communicate with someone. Look out. I need to find the harmony within myself because there's still some things that I need to heal. And through you, am I able to see that? We both have shit that we need to work on, especially when it comes to some of you all knowing you have to, you're going to have to move forward away from someone. And some of you all honestly have to be real with yourself to know things are not moving forward for a reason financially with someone because spirit has been telling you to move on all right some of you all are going to really realize after possibly uh, walking away from someone and i feel like this person could definitely be an air sign as well gemini libra aquarius or virgo or uh, taurus capricorn or scorpio but i feel like after releasing someone, some of you all feel like, damn it, I'm stuck. I can't move forward. I don't have enough. I don't have this. Some of y'all have been trying to hold on to something so much and control the situation and how you want it to go so much that you've literally exhausted your damn savings account trying to hold some shit together. Leo, when is enough enough, baby? There's a need to really focus on family foundations. Accepting new love for a lot of you all and trusting your intuition when it comes to movement and why things are sitting still. What is the lesson that you're needing to learn? Ask God for particular synchronicities if you're having a hard time with connecting with your intuition during this time. Because I'm definitely seeing a, 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 a step, like a, a, a sturdy foundation trying to be built. But intuitively, either someone knows that they're going to have to relinquish control, which is going to cause a damn tower moment, because you're going to have to take that leap of faith on optimism, and change is okay. And for some of you all, it's a beautiful leap of faith because it ends here. And some of y'all are having a hard time moving away from this same expectation that you had with someone in the past. And those feelings and those dreams are resurfacing again, and you're just like, what the hell? So now you're projecting that discomfort or that fear upon someone who came into your life to be a blessing when you should really just open up and release rel relinquish the control and allow this person to nurture you as you give out find that balance in giving and receiving that in which you want to control instead of trying to control compromise okay so spirit Let's clarify, why is this Empress card here for my Leo? Why is the Empress here? Yeah, some of you all, it's about reconciling, possibly with um, either someone who you had a, who you have children with um, or someone who you were possibly could have been engaged to in the past. I feel like this person, you see a sturdy foundation. I feel like if this person moved away from you in the past, they're going to come back and wipe the slate clean and give you an apology and let you know during that time why there was why you felt like you were an option or what was going on for some of you all you have to choose between two lovers someone who you have a family with and someone who because i feel like some of you all are afraid to move forward due to some type of family structure it's like we here i'm here for the kids but ultimately your heart does not scream fulfillment for that situation ship that you in okay yeah for some of you all some of you all want to, you really want to reconcile with somebody. But for some of you all, this person has to leave a marriage. Some of y'all going to find out, <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo, I got to say it. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant by somebody that's married. That's kind of, it's a catalytic situation, forcing change to make someone make a decision. This child is a blessing as well as a catalyst to movement, to the divine intervention, to uh, the greater cause. Soul contracts, let's get it. It's time for a decision to be made. Oh, and it will be. Voluntarily and involuntarily. We could do this the easy way or the hard way. Choice is yours. It's up to you, baby. What you want to do? All right? So, why is the tower here? 
Why is the tower here? Some of you all definitely want to reconcile with the Taurus, especially if you have children with this person. Some of you all, yeah, some of you all is going to take a tower moment in order for you to move forward, okay? And this tower moment is the catalyst to your movement, all right? So definitely trust the process and don't hold on to that hurt. Don't hold on to what once was. Hold on to the vision that you see going forward, okay? Hold on to your aspirations. Hold on to what it is that you want to see manifest and grow. That's too many. That's too many. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me shuffle them up. Oh. Yeah, for those of you who could have had a tall moment with the Aries, uh, due to the fact that you really wanted to build solid foundations, this person had left your life. It definitely could have been due to finances, okay? And th this person is definitely going to be coming back during this time. And during this time, they also want to show you better than they can tell you that they want to see and produce that same movement and that stability that you wanted. But I feel like it was just a clash of the egos with this. Spirit, why is the food card here? Thank you. Yeah, for some of you all now, some of you all could have actually, some of y'all could be actually walking away, possibly from a Scorpio person, or I feel like you could have walked away from someone and went through a transformation, or going through your transformation, is you're having to walk away from someone. Some of y'all could actually, could, could, is going to find out your tower moment is going to be somebody juggling two lovers, possibly yourself, an earth sign or a water sign. And for some of you all, um, it could also be, this could also be involving a Sagittarius or a Pisces as well. But I feel like some of you all are walking away from juggling. You really want to nurture your relationship, your new relationship. You want to take that leap of faith. You want to do something different in order to manifest something different. Good shit, Leo. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. But some of you all, you know damn well this is your lover. This is where you're supposed to be. But for some of y'all... The ego won't is preventing one from moving forward because the work has to be it has to be recept like it has to be compromised through. It has to be give and take. It's a two-way street, not a one-way street. Someone definitely has to move away from trying to control things. And try. And I definitely feel the energy of passive-aggressive when something is not moving the way that someone wants it to. I feel like someone goes silent, and that's their way of war. But at the end of the day, their thoughts drive their ass up the wall. And so intuitively, <laughs> if you've been feeling or dreaming that someone is going to be coming forward uh, to offer you that cup of love, or that someone is your ace of cups, but maybe you're afraid to be vulnerable and take that offer due to hurt caused in the past, or um, maybe someone leaving you out in the cold, you are going to get clear-cut communication from someone who definitely moved away without clarity, or Leo, if this is what you did to somebody else, you're going to be giving that during this time. Why is the ace of cups here? Yeah. Some of y'all could be watching um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or have this person watching you, because I feel like so one person is ready to have to have movement and the other person is really in their head about it, even though it's like a head over heart. You know, their head says, no, I'm going to lose my freedom or this person's going to hurt me. Or it's like you're charging this person before they even commit the crime. You know, you know, you're 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 wanting to, you know, focus on your money. You wanting that stability. You wanting all of that. But at the same time, you wanting to control how this person responds, how this person, you know, and, 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 and you have to let that go. Stop. You don't love is not control, baby. Yeah, but some of you all, some of you, again, some of you all could actually receive some form of communication, text message, possibly from a fire sign, okay, um, that actually forces you, to, or, or regarding another fire sign, that actually forces things to move forward, rather on your end or this person's end. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the legal system as well. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's judgment time, truth and clarity. But some of you all, again, some type of truth and clarity about someone having two decisions or a decision to make between two people. It's time to make a decision and make a move on it, even if it's two endeavors or passions, okay? Or if it's leaving a job to start your own business. The time is now. Trust yourself, baby. The time is now. You got this because with this mother of pentacles here, as well as support, okay, you have support, you have financial stability, some of you all, um, you really need to communicate. 
with let your friends. It's not here. I don't have that card to say let your friends help you, but definitely let your friends help you. Open, open your mouth. Some of y'all are very prideful. You can't buy nothing with it. You're ending cycles to go into new cycles. Some of you all are dealing with um, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. But there's definitely some movement forward. Some of you all feel stuck in a situation with the fire sign where someone was coming in and out of your life. This could have also been a Pisces. Are you doing it to this person? But I feel like someone is definitely going to be standing their ground, Leo. I feel like when this person... You or this other person stands their ground is going to definitely leave the other one feeling like, you know, kind of go in their head, feeling like they got rejected or something of that nature. But on the cool, it's going to get them a little act right for some of y'all. And for some of you all, this person, you are the catalyst to their growth, okay? Because Leo, again, ending cycles to allowing people to not be vulnerable with their feelings, ending cycles to allowing people to be deceptive or for that matter, you to carry yourself like that in relationships, okay? Yeah, but some of you all are definitely possibly being defensive, Leo. Trusting your intuition, okay? But in trusting, so you know you have to move away from someone. And I feel like you have the strength to do that because you're independent during this time. However, it's the holding on. Extract that. Let it go. Let God have God's job. You got this, baby. Focus on your main agenda. Focus on the pride. Fo focus on the prize. Focus on evolving. Focus on growing. Focus on gratitude. Focus on expansion. Focus on security. Focus on balance. Focus on structure, foundations, truth, clear boundaries, and more, more than anything. Focus on you. And give yourself that recognition, baby, because you deserve it. This is what I have for you, my babies, between now and the 31st of December. I love you, love you long time, and I will see you all in the first, well, in January. Happy New Year, boo! But I might come, I don't know if I'm going to turn up with y'all on New Year's. I may or may not, but definitely stay tuned in for the reading specials, y'all, because I'm really going on break. I, I said it before, I mean it. In January, I'm taking a break. So if you need your readings, definitely get them in now. I've opened myself up to be available for that because I am pushed all my shit back until my break, all right? So I love y'all, my babies. Until next time, much love and light. Namaste.